the great kutub, the great ghawf, al-allama, Sayyidi wa Sayyiduna, Sheikh Abdul Qadir al-Jilani al-Hassani al-Husayni, radiyallahu ta'ala an. His name is known all over the globe. Wherever you may travel, you'll find people who affiliate themselves with this great master. Sayyiduna Sheikh Abdul Qadir al-Jilani radiyallahu ta'ala an. And his life is of great importance for many reasons. And I want to only highlight one particular point of his life. His journey, as you know very well, and I'm not going to relate the accounts that are famous, began by him asking permission from his mother to go and seek knowledge in Baghdad from Jilan. And his mother let him go, saying to him, My beloved son, I leave you in the trust of Allah, for I know I'm not going to see you again until the day of judgment. And I depart you on Siddiqah, on truthfulness. Don't ever leave truth. And immediately we know what happened with the highway robbers and how these people made Tawbah at his hands. I want to share with you the account of one of the last people that met him. One of the last people that met him was the famous author of Al-Mughni, Ibn Qudam al maqdisi Very famous. He says, Ibn Qudam, that when I came to Al-Baghdad, we found that knowledge, we found wilaya, we found spirituality, we found fatwa, all under one man. Shaykh Abdul Qadir al-Jilani radiallahu ta'ala So we all came to him and he said by the end of his life, this is the end of the life of this great wolf and azam he said everybody in Baghdad, whoever he was, if he was a student of knowledge, he was studying with Shaykh Abdul Qadir al-Jilani. If he was a scholar, he would come to Shaykh Abdul Qadir al-Jilani. He said he was much. There was nobody like Shaykh Abdul Qadir al-Jilani. So we said we came to him. We were young. And the Shaykh was now 91 years old. He is 91 years old. He embraces us and he says, come and stay in my zawah, in my school. It was the school where he taught. So we settled in and they say, Ibn Qudama says that we only knew him for 50 days. We only knew him for 50 days. And he would send his son, Sayyiduna Yahya, to us to make sure that we have enough food, that our light is, the lamp is burning. This is the Shaykh sending his own son. And he said, the Shaykh Abdul Qadir al Jilani, he would pray in Jama'ah. He would pray the five prayers in Jama'ah at the age of 91. And not only pray, he would lead us in jama'ah. He would lead us at the age of 91. And after Fajr al-Salah, he says, I, Ibn Qudama, and Hafiz Abdul Ghani, we used to read to the shaykh. He used to teach us at the age of 91, after Fajr al-Salah, in his school. In his school. And then 50 years, 50 days later, he returned back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Shaykh Abdul Qadir al Jilani radiallahu ta'ala is someone that the Ummah has not seen the like of since he has come. Really, the Ummah has not seen the like of Shaykh Abdul Qadir al Jilani radiallahu ta'ala, not in the outer and not in the inner. He was the jami' of the two oceans. He was the jami'. He, he really united the outer and the inner science. You would come to him for everything, and he would be there. He would speak to you and speak to your hearts and illuminate your heart. Shaykh Abdul Qadir al-Jilani radiallahu ta'ala an, he speaks about himself at the end of his life and he says, by Allah, I prefer to live in the deserts of Baghdad where nobody knows me and I don't know anybody else. And he said, however, Allah ta'ala took me from there and put me amongst people and maybe, maybe some benefit came from me. And the benefit he mentions, look at the humility of this man. The benefit he says is that the whole of Baghdad, 100,000 people or more, made Tawbah at my hand. Over 100,000 people in Baghdad made Tawbah at my hand. 5,000 Jews and Christians became Muslim. Maybe Allah used me for the good of his good. The humility of this person. 